What is up design family and welcome to another episode of Fit Design TV. On today's episode, we'll be looking at recycled leggings. What are they and how are they made? As someone who's into active or in sportswear, it's a question I've often wondered. And if you guys have as well, watch this video and you have all of your questions answered. Hey guys, and welcome to Fit Design TV. So glad to have you here. On this channel, we discuss all things sports fashion, graphic design, manufacturing, and technology. We'll discuss key topics, answer pressing questions, and provide actionable steps on starting your own product line. If you're interested in any of the above topics, stick around, you're in for a good one. In order to understand the process of recycling leggings, we have to understand how new leggings are made. Typically, leggings are based off of fabrics that are based on polyester fibers. New polyester is created using PET or polyethylene, which is the same raw material that's used to create plastic bottles. This relationship is what sets the basis for the environmental benefits of recycling leggings. New PET is super consuming in terms of water and energy. We require large amounts of water and large amounts of fossil fuel in order to create new PET that we use to create many household items. This ends up putting a lot of toxicity into air. It actually also ends up draining our natural resources. So this is the basis on which a lot of companies use recycled leggings as a way of lessening their footprint on the environment. As a rule of thumb, recycled PET uses 80% less water than new PET in the production process. At the same time, the recycled PET consumes 70% less energy than new PET. And the CO2 emissions of recycled PET contribute 75% less emissions than the creation of new PET. The production of RPET ends up putting out far less emissions and using far less resources in the process. They say that one recycled pair of leggings can somewhat reduce 32 bottles of plastic from our landfill. So there's a strong correlation towards recycling our leggings and putting it towards our fashion purposes than not creating new PET and having to add a ton of toxicity into the environment over and over again as per our requirements. How is PET recycled in order to make polyester that would ultimately be used to create recycled leggings? That process starts at landfills where plastic bottles are taken, they're collected, they're then put through a flotation device where they're sorted. The plastic bottle main bases themselves are sorted from their caps and their labels. These transparent plastic bottles are then taken and they're cut down, they're turned into chips once they're sterilized, and these chips are heated and passed through a spinneret and spun onto spools as raw polyester fibers. These polyester fibers are then put through a crimping machine, which turns them into this fluffy cotton-like texture, which is then used and then spun into yarns, where these yarns are then taken and they're knitted into the polyester fabrics that we use. Once we have the polyester fabric, it's baled and then it is cut and sewn into the final garment. The major benefit here is once we have our final recycled legging, that legging can be re-recycled once its use has been done into a new pair of leggings. So that process can continue and we can continuously help to reduce the environmental impact that fashion can have on the environment. So that's pretty much the gist of it. That's the major basis on how recycled leggings are made and how they contribute to the environment. Whether or not the impact of recycled leggings ends up helping the environment as a net positive in the long run is still up for debate. That's not something we'll discuss now, but we did want to shed some light on that and we wanted to help answer this question. If you have any other similar questions or questions around the sports run and the active industry that you kind of have wondered, leave them in the comments below. We always love engaging and answering these questions as we learn a ton through our investigation. Thank you guys so much for tuning into Fit Design TV. Stay awesome.